Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught developer. I just finished up with uploading my CSS loading animation uh, series, which is a speed coding series, which you could check right here. Also, uh, for this video, we will do something different. We won't work with CSS or Bootstrap, but we will uh, work with Node.js and JavaScript. Today, you will learn how Node.js is working, what is Node.js, and also, most importantly, how to run uh, and create a Node.js server. So let's just jump into code and explore it. Okay, so let's first talk about what is Node.js. Well, Node.js, is it a programming language? Well, not so. Uh, it is a runtime environment for uh, JavaScript, basically. So, in the background of Node.js, it is using uh, something called Chrome V8 uh, engine for JavaScript. So, how the, does that work? So, back in the days, you could only use JavaScript uh, inside of your browser. So, basically, you would uh, just use JavaScript to do some uh, animations, uh, DOM manipulation, maybe some requests, uh, but you wouldn't do it to run a server, to, I don't know, do some authentication, authorization, uh, talking with the database and stuff like that. Because uh, uh, JavaScript, as it is run on a browser, uh, everything could uh, see it, basically. So now we have this uh, Node.js that we could run and uh, that will basically create the environment uh, for JavaScript and JavaScript could be run also on a server side or the backend side of uh, developing. So uh, what will we get with that? So JavaScript now could uh, run a server, uh, all the things that couldn't do before authentication, authorization, uh, uh, talking with the database and uh, much more, obviously. So for you to run uh, Node.js on your machine, you first must uh, download uh, Node.js. As you could see, I could download for Windows uh, 64. I already have it installed on my machine, so you could just click uh, recommended version for you and uh, download it. Version could be different as uh, maybe you are uh, watching this video far in the future. But yeah, just download the recommended version and install it. It's an uh, easy uh, installer, just next, 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 basically. So uh, now we could uh, go into Visual Studio Code and explore uh, how Node.js is working. So if you installed Node.js, now we could start the tutorial basically. So first of all, uh, we will create the file obviously, and that file uh, we will call it just app.js. It is a JavaScript file as we are typing in JavaScript. So mostly when you type in JavaScript, for example, console.log, and let's say hello world inside, hello world and uh, mostly you will open up uh, javascript in your browser through some html file and stuff like that but uh, for node.js if you install node.js you could do this so you will go here to view and uh, click terminal or you could run this command so i will run that command and uh, my terminal is open as you could see i am in a node.js folder with uh, my code uh, inside the uh, folder code called right so uh, if I run node.js here I will just type node and I will type uh, name of the file app.js and I will hit enter you could see that hello world that is uh, run basically it is logging that to the console this is just the console similar to the browser that we the, the browser console that we have so as you could see uh, Im uh, it immediately stopped working right so we could type something else now but uh, this uh, video is not about uh, showing you how node.js work and stuff like that but showing you how could you create your server inside of node.js so let's go and ju do just that so first of all node.js ha has this uh, integrated modules inside and one of those models is uh, is a HTTP model. So I will create a, const, a constant of HTTP and uh, I will import that model. Uh, how to import it in Node.js? I will just type require and inside inside of parentheses uh, just uh, type HTTP. HTTP. So yeah, that is all you need to do, literally. So for our server, we need two more things. So first, hostname. We should obviously have some host uh, that will be basically your host, your domain of your website and uh, port. So first, uh, I'll create a const for hostname. Hostname. And uh, that will be just the usual one, uh, 127, 
0.0.0.1 this one we will use as we don't have our uh, host uh, we don't have any domain to your to run it or something like that but uh, also we need uh, our port so I will create also constant for port and I will run this on uh, port 3000 so how to create a server well basically uh, we imported this HTTP module so if I use it, that HTTP and I go that you can see all the different things that you could run on that HTTP one of those is obvious create server so if I use that create server create server will give me some uh, callback function right so uh, that callback function uh, must have inside the request and response so request is everything that we are getting and the response is everything that we are sending from us to front end side right so first of all uh, the part that we could do here when we are basically uh, create a server and we wish to give something to the front side we will just uh, use our response so response that and there is uh, different stuff that you could do uh, get headers set headers write new headers and stuff like that we will use a method called end this will basically mean uh, we are ending this creation of the server this is what you get so uh, what we will send to the front side uh, we will do similar thing just hello world for now well right so uh, if i wish to run my uh, app.js now through node app.js i will get nothing uh, we don't know what happened we just get some call back and that's it right so nothing uh, why because we didn't even load the server we just created the server but we didn't listen to that server we uh we don't run that server so this is nothing for us this code means nothing and to do that we will create a constant here called server and we will set it back to whatever we get from this create server so now that we have this constant we could use that constant now so server and that on it you could see there is a couple of uh, methods here but one, one that we need is called listen. This listen method is basically the method that will listen to our server and uh, run our server. So uh, what we need to put uh, inside of a listen method, we need to send our port, our host name, and we will get uh, some uh, callback function, but uh, that's uh, nothing crucial. We will just uh, console log for now here, uh, maybe when you running the normal app and uh, everything with a uh, bunch of functionalities you will do some stuff uh, on listening uh, on listening of the server but for now we will just use a log that uh, server is running on port and plus our port basically so uh, i will go back to my terminal now and i will run node and app.js when i hit enter there is something, obviously. There is uh, that console log that we send, right? That server is running on port 3000. It, our port is 3000, right? We set it uh, that way. So, uh, as you could see, uh, our functionality didn't stop. It is still running. So, what does that mean? We could basically uh, see our local host uh, in a browser. So, let's go in a browser here. I will type here localhost 3000, hit enter, and there you have it. Hello world is here. This hello world is coming obviously from this method key here, create server, right? So we have something. Uh, mo uh, most of the times this will be nothing for you as uh, you will have uh, other files like index.html uh, and CSS files and stuff like that. So let's give you a bit bonus here. I will show you how you could uh, send your HTML file to a browser and when you run a server you will see your HTML file instead of just uh, this uh, string here hello world so I will close my server for now so control C it will stop uh, uh, server from working and to uh, send the files to the front side we will do the next first of all we must import one more module uh, it is also integrated model so I will use cost FS for uh, file system and requ uh, I will import as obviously same as HTTP require and FS just 
So this FS, we will use this FS in uh, creation of our server. So I will come here and use FS that and there is some stuff here already and we will uh, uh, use method read file. So uh, that method first of all must have uh, the file that we should read. So we currently don't have any other files here, so we will create our index index.html file. Inside of index.html, I will just create a normal HTML5 file and I will use h1 for heading and type, well, you could guess it, hello world. So to send this file to our server, uh, we will first uh, type here the file that we need to send that the name is index.html and uh, we will get some callback from a read file method. The callback will be will give us error or data. Data will be the data inside of the file, well, file itself. So now that we have this callback, after that we will first send a header. So we will use response from our create server and we will type write head. So Inside, we need to first set our status code, it is 200 for success, and the header, the header will be content type, and uh, it will be set to text slash HTML. So this means that uh, whichever file we send to front side, it will read as HTML, not plain text, but HTML, as by default it is set to plain text and you saw that we when we run our uh, server before yeah, you saw that we just have plain text of hello world so to bring back the file to front side we will again use re uh, response and we will use other method on it we will use write and we will send data back data is coming from our read file so if there is no error it will send the data uh, we don't have those states to check if there is error and stuff like that still here but uh, as this is just a basic tutorial i won't go uh, into that deeper and make this uh, video uh, half an hour long so this will be just quick tutorial so uh, instead of uh, writing uh, end of the server here i will cut this from here and paste it here and instead of hello world here I will delete everything from it, so just the uh, end of the server. So now, when we have everything set up like this, I will uh, use uh, again node app.js and server is running on port 3000, so that means that we could go to our browser here. If I refresh the page, we can see that there is a h1 of hello world. If I go back to our uh, index HTML file, and I put some paragraph below with some lorem text, text, for example. I will save that file, come back, refresh. There is text also. So we are successfully sending HTML file to the Node.js server to front-end side. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. I hope that you like it and that you learned something new. Uh, if you wish to learn more about Node.js, you could go into their uh, documentation here and there you could see a lot of different stuff uh, the features the all the versions of node.js you could uh, go to guides or you could hit uh, uh, recommended version here if you open up that you will he uh, have all the documentation there so for example we could go a bit here you could see that http module that we used you can go there and you could see all the things that you could use and done with http as obviously there is a lot of stuff so uh, you don't need all of those, but uh, at least uh, the main ones you could read. So uh, the documentation of Node.js uh, is big, but uh, it's uh, for you who wish to learn Node.js, it is good to read it, right? Thanks once again. Don't uh, forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.